Every day we all go through some sort of beauty ritual here on Earth. But what does that look like in outer space? We are heading to a special lab to find out. This research and development center has collaborated with Astronaut Center of China for over six years. It's conducted studies on how a microgravity environment affects human skin. It's also developed cleansing and cosmetic products, especially for astronauts. So, Dr. Zhou, how do astronauts improve their skin care in the space station? Actually, aerospace medical science has confirmed that the skin barrier could be damaged and the water content could decrease. Uh, it causes significant impact on the skin aging of the human body because of the microgravity of the environment, radiation of the space. Hygiene is the most important uh, for the astronaut in the space. The Shenzhou 13 mission is made up of one female and two male astronauts who will walk on China space station for six months. Scientists have prepared different skin care products for the crew, considering the differences between the male and female skin. For female astronauts, we develop products for mainly for the anti-aging defixy purpose. We use a very special ingredient named uh, plant blossom but It could uh, enhance the synthesis of collagen in the skin and also it could enhance uh, hyaluric acids, which is also a very important uh, material in the skin. The ingredient we selected for the male astronaut, we use uh, Himalaya glacier water. The product was developed to enhance the deep water storage of the skin and also importantly to maintain the skin vitality. These are the skincare products that three Taconauts will use in the space station. But they have been custom packed in vacuum pump bottles so they are convenient to use. From food to cosmetics, a number of daily items are being tailor-made for a more comfortable life in space. And many tech companies have taken the growth of space missions as an opportunity to further explore aerospace technology and applications. Wu Lei, CGTN, Shanghai.